video will discuss the state of the art in submarine cable laying, including the main problems and cutting edge tools being used by cable installers. First, let's see who is laying submarine cables and why. The telecom industry was the first to lay submarine cables in the 1850s. These cables are the backbone supporting the explosion of the internet and 99% of the world's international telecommunication travels through them. The subsea power cable industry is currently experiencing rapid growth, spurred on by two main factors, the emergence of offshore renewable energy, especially offshore wind, and the increasing demand for grid interconnection between networks with excess electrical supply to others with excess demand. With energy prices rising, seismic oil exploration is being pushed into deeper offshore fields, requiring the ocean bottom cables to be laid and retrieved very accurately in even deeper waters. Cable laying techniques before the 1990s were still relatively crude, leading to cable failures. The basic issue was this. Cable installers didn't have a good picture of what the cable was doing below the surface. Then, in the late 1980s, Mackay Ocean Engineering presented a solution. With modern computers, Mackay developed a rigorous 3D model of the cable, called Mackay Lay, that accurately computed and displayed the cable shape and touchdown conditions in real time. The Mackay Lay model can take into account the cable properties, all forces on the cable, the seabed contours, the ship maneuvers, and even ocean current readings from a current profiler in real time during the lay. Operators use Mackay Lay software to monitor and control the cable's position and bottom tension, allowing them to optimize the vessel navigation and cable payout instructions for a safe and swift cable lay. These two variables, position and tension, are of the utmost importance for a cable lay. Mackay Lay provides control over the cable's position and tension at any depth. Here's how. During a lay, Mackay Lay gives the vessel and cable engine instructions to keep the cable right on track and it retains a log of the as-laid path. For power cable lays, Mackay Lay can place the cable on the seabed with high accuracy and can minimize or eliminate the need for expensive ROV touchdown monitoring. In addition, Mackay Lay can precisely control the retrieval of cables to minimize lateral dragging and damage. Retrieval speeds with Mackay Lay can be easily doubled, minimizing ship time and repair costs. Installing any type of cable with high slack can result in using more cable than is necessary and increase the chance of unwanted loops. Also, laying a power cable with low tension or slack could result in a damaging kink at the touchdown. On the other hand, installing a cable with tension that is too high will result in suspensions leading to extreme forces at the contact points. This exposes the cable to higher current forces, which vibrate the cable, causing wear and in some cases failure at the heavily loaded contact points. Mackay Lay provides tension control for power cable and flexible pipe installations where a residual tension at the seabed is needed. A feature called Auto Tension automatically adjusts cable payout and vessel navigation to keep tension within acceptable limits, paying out cable faster when it is too high and vice versa when it is too low. In 1989, Mackay Lay was first used to install a power cable through a treacherous and narrow corridor in deep waters. This remains the highest precision deep water power cable lay in the world to this day. Since then, Mackay Lay has become the number one subsea cable installation package in the world, used by over 75% of the world's subsea cable ships. And although